it's here, our first 10K house party. Make sure you go and watch this on YouTube. I promise you won't regret it. Enjoy. <laughs> You know, into it. Um, I put on what your husband calls a podcast voice. <laughs> that is what he calls it. <laughs> Welcome to the Imaginary Luxury Travel Comedy Podcast. I'm Allison Burns. And I'm Lula Picard, and I think imaginary should go later in the list of those adjectives, because otherwise it sounds like an imaginary podcast. <laughs> so welcome to the Luxury Travel Podcast. <laughs> no, Comedy travel, the comedy luxury travel, imaginary because Bill Murray's here. Because <laughs> he's not really here. Oh, no. oh, he's the imaginary part. Yeah. Bill Murray's the imaginary part. Yeah. I got it. So this is going well. Um, this is our first time that we've tried to do a house party, also our last, but it's going well so far. Yeah. Um, if this is your first time listening Sorry. to the podcast, no, you're fine. But just know that some people are watching it because this is a YouTube episode as well. So one episode every month, the second Wednesday of the month, is that yes, right? Yes, correct. Um, the second Wednesday of the month is a YouTube episode. You can watch us in varying degrees of sobriety talk to you about luxury travel or yes. you could be listening to this in your car or in the grocery store or at work wherever yeah and we're so excited you're here so you want to get started i think we should i think we should too so um first of all we do have a little bit of news i want to thank our two new sponsors on <gasps> patreon yes which would be rick hi rick and also greg hey greg and greg has helped us out with a couple of these videos before so he's part of hashtag team 10k from the beginning. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it took him a year and a half to subscribe, but but since the beginning, he's been texting us. Uh, so thank you for our new sponsors. That's very exciting. And if this is releasing the second week of, we're in Sweden. We just got back. We just got back from Sweden. Yeah. It was great. It was so much fun. <laughs> we had a blast. It was so good. It was so good. <laughs> Ah, like better than I ever could have imagined. I mean, I'm imagining it now. <laughs> and it's still so and good. It was better. Yeah. I mean, just wait. We don't have time to tell you well, all. We just can't get into it. The amazing right thing is just the time. We I got, know. only got 70 minutes on the video. So sorry. I'm sure that you all uh, followed us on Instagram. Yeah, so you that. know. So psh, you just know. talk amongst yourselves and tell yeah. each other how good that trip was. All right. <laughs> so, Alison Burns. Yes. Question one. Uh huh. What is your obsession? You know. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Look at my face. Oh, <laughs> I do know. <laughs> it is your eyebrows. You guys. They're tattoos. They are tattoos on my face. Oh, we're getting fancy. <laughs> I'm gonna hold really still, okay? Are you zooming in right on the tattoo? Okay, <laughs> listen, they're so amazing. I got microblading. And anyone who has listened to this podcast before, you know that microblading has been my wish list multiple times. So many times. So many times. And I made it a reality. You sure did. I like having this chair here. <laughs> you know? Okay, so process. So this is yes. a, a semi-permanent tattoo yes so you have to do your research to make sure you find someone that is going to shape it well correct so talk to me about how long it took her to shape your eyebrow on your face the shape alone probably took 45 minutes to an hour because we kept checking back she I showed her pictures of what I liked I showed her pictures of when I filled them in on my face um and then she maps it out with like a protractor oh I like that you said it with me 
Did I? Yes. Did I mouth it? You mouthed the word. I didn't even know I mouthed it. Because she thought that I wouldn't remember what it was called. Because she didn't an hour ago. <laughs> but the protractor was used to measure my face. So she put lines all over my face. Uh -huh. And then measured them out and then I would check it. And then she made one droop down. Not like, you know, but just like curve down and one stay straight. And then she was like, which one do you like better? And I was like, this one, because my eye looks more awake. So yeah, but we did all of the videoing. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I don't know if we've released it yet. <laughs> Maybe you you've live, seen it. You were live we on Facebook, I think. We did go live on Facebook, but we mm -hmm. also filmed everything. So the whole process. So we're actually going to release a little like two minute video of the whole thing. What kind so of music are you going to put behind that? Is it going to be dramatic? Like, or is it going to be like, I mean, what if there's like a compilation of things? Because I feel like at different points in the day, I felt like that. Like when I first arrived, I couldn't find the place. So that would warrant the like, because I was looking around. I went the opposite way. I thought that was going to be the No, I couldn't find it. So it was very like, like walking around. You know what I mean? Like, like Allison can't find the place with the big sign. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, okay. But then once I got in, it was very like, like spa-esque. Like everything oh. was white with like crystals. Oh. So I feel like that feels more like, you know, the like the yoga bowls. Tibetan singing bowls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We like those. Then I think maybe when she's talking, maybe just like underscore of like chords on a piano. Oh. You've thought that through. I mean, I'm just saying because you don't want to like muddy it up. No. And then when she starts the z z that, then it could get to like... Yeah. 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 I don't know why I went to that song. And then I think the end seemed to fit. should be just like the before and after, like the like the hallelujah chorus. Oh, I like that. Perfect. Yeah. I hope that was as entertaining for you as it was for us. How about you, Bill? <laughs> yeah, he's good with it. <laughs> he's real happy. Bill's good with it. That's good. What's your obsession? Wait, I need to ask you one more question. Okay. Pain? No. No, because she numbs it, and there was only one time that she went to do something, and I kind of felt it, and my actual body jumped, and she goes, oh, let's move on to the other brow, because she knew this numbing stuff had worn off, so she put more on. Because it's okay. not numbing to where it lasts the whole time. Because she said if it's too strong, then it compromises the skin. What? So she needs to, it basically takes the edge off. Well, I'm going to have one every Saturday night. <laughs> um, <laughs> numbing cream. Not just numbing cream. Just to take the edge off. Speaking of. Uh, great. So that was your obsession? Yeah, what's yours? Okay, my obsession is... Uh, <laughs> old. It's the Shazam app, which I know we've all had on our phones since like, I don't know, 2006. Oh yeah. But I am, every time, even 10 or 12 years later, I'm still amazed that it works. When you say, tell me what song this is. You know, like you're in a restaurant and there's lots of noise. There's, there's servers and there's drinkware and there's all these things. And they go, I don't know, what song is this? And it tells you. Yeah. I think that is, I don't understand how it parses through all of that sound and it gives it to you in like, Five yeah. seconds. Have you ever tried to sing into it? Does it still work with I don't that? know. I don't know. But I want to try it. Please hold. What song <clears throat> should she sing? I know what song I'm going to sing. Oh, I got she knows. it. <clears throat> <laughs> it literally says we didn't quite catch that. What well, I don't even know what that is. You know that's a song. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? Mars. Well, from the classical Who's table in the back. Oh, ho, ho! three out of fifty. Dad just walked in eight people. 50. Three out of fifty. Three out of fifty-eight people <laughs> knew that. Packed in here. Yeah. Uh, so that is my obsession, is the Shazam app. All right. I'm still amazed at that technology, so kudos to the developers of that. Very cool. Yeah.
Wish list. My wish list. The new Spanx leggings. They're made by Spanx. And they're leggings. To be worn in public. As leggings. Like, like not underneath things. No. Have you tried and, them? No, but they have um, the faux leather ones. Oh, we call that fleather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or pleather. I was making that up. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah pop. but here's what they say. The quote, or their slogan is, it's an Instagram filter for your butt. <gasps> I love that. I really want to try them. They're so expensive. Like how much? Like a hundred dollars. No. For Spanx. leggings. Come on. <sighs> but I really want them. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try them. Without buying them? Yeah. And then you're going to buy them? Uh. No, I mean, if I like them, I'll just keep them. Right. I don't think they have a place you can try on Spanx leggings. <clears throat> like in a store? I don't know. Who knows? <clears throat> that sounds exciting. My, Mom, you can just say things because... Spank teenies? Spank teenies? Spank. Spank things. Spank body things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's exciting, though. Yeah. Instagram filter for your butt. Yeah. I like that. Right? That's Little. a good slogan. Um... Oh, mine's also clothes. Oh. <laughs> oh, not as glamorous as what you just said. I just want those shoelaces that you don't have to tie. They're made out of elastic <laughs> things. They might be made for kids. I'm not sure. But, or runners. I have a little elastic. You have them? Well, there you go. And they're on your running shoes? Lulu's they're mom has them. Two of my shoes. And you can just slip your feet in? Yes. Because <laughs> I don't like to tie. I wish you guys could have seen that. My mother <laughs> yeah. just did an entire contemporary dance routine trying to show us how yeah. these sneakers go on. But I'm excited about <clears> it. I like anything I don't have to tie or buckle. Yeah. Also, I don't feel buckles should be on shoes anymore. That's It doesn't make sense, guys. Figure it out. Yeah, there's zippers now on shoes. <laughs> you see, that made you sound so old. <laughs> there's zippers now on <laughs> shoes. What are they thinking? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's my, are we already at? Are you ready? <gasps> everyone can sing. Oh, everyone sing it with us. 10K day. That wasn't bad, That was guys. actually pretty good. That it's was like we pretty good. It. We're going on the road. You um, were a little off. Ah, oh, she doesn't scare. <clears throat> okay, who do you think should go first? Ooh, um, I don't know. Uh, who, should go, who should go first? Me. Okay. I'm ready. All right. This is so small. I am going to Andorra. Ooh. Yes. It's a tiny independent principality situated between France and Spain. Whoa. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. So when I typed it in, right, Andorra, into Google, you know how all those questions come up? Like how right. it'll say like the next question, like the next things that people ask, well, right? Well, that's because you type things into Google in the form of a question. Correct. So it's auto-completing as you Okay. Type it, right? Great. But I just typed in the word Andorra oh, just really? to see what would happen. And the very first question was, is Andorra safe? And I was like, oh, I want to know that. Yeah. <laughs> like before I go, right? So I clicked on it. Um, Andorra is often considered as one of the safest countries in the world. Oh. Guess how many armed robberies there were in 2015? Two. Good guess. Anyone else? Seven. Seven? Five. Five? No. Fourteen? One. One! What? You looked at my notes. I did not look at your paper. One robbery. Woohoo! Andorra. Right? There's so always safe. One rotten apple. So safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stay at the Sport Hotel. Cool name, right? I guess. Um, here's the thing. I clicked on it because it was supposed to be the most luxurious, the most expensive. It's actually, because you know how I like to do these days when we actually air? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's actually closed from the 21st of April to the 12th of June. So it would okay. technically be like closed okay. when this airs. So I looked at July dates. So we're just going to pretend that that's happening, okay? I got the Mountain View four bedroom. There are two king beds and two twin beds and a living room with a kitchen and a terrace with 
gorgeous views of the mountains and the ski slopes and a fireplace and butler service. Ooh. Right? Two nights in this hotel, $3,538.89. Already? That's yeah, good. For two nights. Okay. okay. All right, so they have breakfast at the hotel at the Origin. And it said you could do a tasting. For breakfast? Yeah. Of what? It didn't say. Squid. In Spain? <laughs> Squid? What? Squid? It's not an island. It's an, it's between France and Spain. It's not it's not an island, right? I, you're me? You think I know? Didn't you just read it? It says it's between France and Spain. It's not an island. I think. No, I don't think so because it has views of mountains and ski slopes. I think it yeah. would say water. You can still have squid if you want for breakfast. Okay. Yeah. I, it, but honestly, it doesn't say. It just says tasting, and when you convert it, it was $99.39. For breakfast? For a breakfast tasting. <gasps> and Dora. Yeah. I think it was like, I don't know, croissants and cheeses and... But now you're just making that up. Because <laughs> you, you literally like don't know what it is. Well, I'm just guessing what okay. would be on a breakfast tasting. I think it would be uh, 14 kinds of Benedicts, I would hope. That would be cool. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. that sound great? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be it's good. Like yeah, yeah, that's what I would spend $99 on. <laughs> not not croissants. croissants and okay. cheese. Well, then I'm going to rent a car and a driver. Okay. And I got it from mydaytrip.com. Okay. And that car and driver for the day, $1,022. Pretty normal, right? For a whole day? Yeah. How many hours do you put that in for? 12. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, do you know the reason why most people travel to Andorra? Is there there's a tourist attraction there? Not, no. Uh, there's a reason. There's a reason. Is it, is it skiing? No, no. There's a reason. There's reason. a reason why people go. A uh, good reason. No, not smoking. Smoking was your guess? I think she did this, but I think she meant this. No. Oh, oh. does anyone know? <laughs> Andorra? No, no it's, a, it's the highest smoking place in the entire world. Are you Googling on the side? She's Googling on the side. Hey, bud. Hi, buddy. Uh, do you know why? Paddle? No. Okay. No, okay. But, the okay. reason is because it's tax-free shopping. Oh! I would yeah. do that. Everything. That sounds great. Everything. Sticker price. Whatever it is, that's what you pay. That's a big one. It's a big one. So it's a lot of luxury And here's the shopping, thing. Because probably. of that, there are roughly 2,000 stores packed into this country that you can drive across in an hour. <gasps> it's been, like the whole country's a mall. Yes. The whole an country's a mall. Yeah. Crazy, that right? That is crazy. Okay. It's like so, the Mall of America. Yeah. But the Mall of Andorra. It might be smaller than the... No. It's no, it's an big. hour. You can... <laughs> Mall of America is not that big. No, because he's driving it. You said driving it. Not hour. walking. I got it. Okay, yeah. never mind. Um, okay, so of course I'm going to go shopping. Duh. Duh. Okay. So I'm going to Pyrenees, and this is the largest shopping mall there. They literally have everything, like even food. Like they have everything. Furniture, clothes, hardware. When you say food, you mean like a food court? Like shop? No, like grocery, grocery shopping. Store. Okay, yeah, like, got it. like a market, and like it just has everything. So um, I was clicking through their website, and I clicked on women to see the clothes, mm -hmm. and they had what was called proposal of the month. Now, right, we would think proposal like, oh, is someone like proposing, proposing. at the mall, right? But it's not. It's a different trend every month. Okay. So they post a picture of the trend of the month of like yes. this some model wearing the clothes, and then everything that person's wearing. So I went back and I started in May. So I went to the May trend and it was a, a safari trend. Okay. So, and um, I'll put a picture up so you guys can see. So it's this girl in all this safari. Well, I mean, it was like safari meaning that's the, that's the, um, you know, the stock, the fashion. What does that mean fashion wise? Uh, um, I mean, it has like, I, I don't know. It, it looks, <laughs> it looks like, wait, I, I don't have my computer and it didn't print a picture, but she looks like she would be like I a model in a safari. 
as a person? As a person. Well, I didn't know if you meant like an animal. Is she an animal print or is she No, it's like greens and, and yeah, it's like dark green. She's and, like a hunter. Yeah, and they had, she had shorts. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did she have a big hat? Like a pith helmet? No. She had a, a, a handbag. A handbag. Okay. Anyways, I got the Castaner shoe. I got the whole outfit. Castaner shoes, one hundred and thirty-two dollars and eighty-nine cents. The Long Champ handbag, three hundred eighty-five dollars and twenty-eight cents. Levi shorts, sixty-one dollars and thirty-one cents. <laughs> Isabel Morant shirt, one sixty-one ninety-three. The Parka Zadig and Voltaire, Voltaire, five hundred and seven dollars. What is that? I don't know. Wait, wait, what, what, what type of clothing is that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, let's see. I said shoes. I said handbag. <laughs> I said shorts and shirt. Yeah. And what does it say? The, the expensive thing? Parka. It's a, it's a jacket. Parka. Did I say parka? I don't know. Did I say that? Parka. Okay, it's a parka. Thank you. That may look in its entirety $1,248.41. Well done. Okay. Now I'm going to go get lunch. Did you know that <laughs> in Andorra, uh, there are popular eateries that are called bordas? Borda? Bordas. Or bordas. How do you spell it? B-O-R-D-A-S. Oh, and what does that mean? They're old mountain barns. What? But they're now restaurants. So it's a thing where they turn barns they into turn, restaurants. Yeah, and these aren't just like barns like we think of barns. They're the stone. Like they, it's like thick stone walls. Like a castle barn. Yeah. You know how like... Like, like a picture... stable in a castle. Yeah, but with stone. Are those walls. stone? In my head, the castle stable is stone. But yeah, a castle is closer. Okay. So, because it protects from the cold. Okay. So, but they've turned all of these old mountain barns into restaurants now, and that's like the popular thing to do, is like go to these little places for lunch. So I found this place called Borda de las Pueblas. Pueblas? I don't know. <laughs> we'll put the link in the blog. Um, there's no menu, but there's a lot of pictures of like whole pigs and like just like meat. Like lots of meat. <laughs> Asha's going to love this. So episode. then I Googled that and it said, in a Borda you can expect meat-based meals. Yeah. Does that makes sense. And it says it's usually prepared in an open fire. And they serve it with lots of vegetables and garlic aioli. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. So I went to TripAdvisor because, again, no menu. It okay. said um, you can get a meal there anywhere between $20 and $45. So I said $50 for my sure. meal. So then I'm going to go back to shopping. So remember I got a May outfit. Now I'm going to get a June outfit. Happy June, everyone. <laughs> the trend for June is called Total White. Oh. Everything is white. So I got the tea and – nope. TCN dress, $333, a handbag, I got Michael Kors sandals, I got a hat, my total for June was $466.61. Okay. For some reason they had no July and no August. Because it hasn't happened yet. No, because they have a September. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know if maybe they like take time off or if it's like too hot to dress, I don't know. So <laughs> September, the September, I don't mean like naked but and I mean you always like, want to be naked I mean okay so the September trend wouldn't that be funny if it was like July and August just just be naked just be naked you guys did you know that the number one tourist attraction in Andorra is naked July all July everyone's naked just lots of tax-free shopping all naked all the time you heard it here first from Bill <laughs> <laughs> So September trend. There was no name. Like you know how everyone else like that had a name, like Safari yeah, and Total yeah. White. September's just September. It seems like they're not that um, <laughs> consistent with their marketing. And I feel, I feel like it tapered off. Yeah. You know? And they were like, oh, we forgot. Let's just do September. They hired yeah. a really eager like social media intern yeah. in February. Yeah. And then she got cut. Yeah. But I still got the September trend, and guess what? It's the most expensive. It comes with mango pants. The um, a sweater, a hat, Max and Company jacket, ankle boots, Saint Laurent glasses, and Aristocrazy earrings. My total for that outfit, the September trend, two thousand seventy six dollars and ninety cents. Now, why are you buying three outfits? Are you actually wearing it throughout the day? Or are you just shopping? I'm just shopping because it's okay. tax free. Oh, okay. 
Because that's the reason you go to Andorra. Okay, okay, got it. There's a purpose. So it's like you're getting souvenirs. Yes. Got it. With no tax. Okay, so next I'm going to go to Caldea. It's a spa. It's a large natural springs complex with various indoor and outdoor swimming pools, jacuzzis, and hydrotherapy sections. Okay, so they have a separate section for adults only. Awesome. Love it. Right? Um, here's the cool thing. The spa area is made of glass, so you can see outside and you can watch the stars. Because <gasps> it's open till midnight. What? You could be like in a hot tub at uh, midnight looking at the stars? Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay. Did you guys know that in Andorra, the main tourist <laughs> attraction is spas that you can be in until midnight and look at the stars, but all naked? You heard it here. <laughs> um, it gets better. There are also shows and performances, including water and lights throughout the day that you watch outside from the jacuzzis. Wait. You're in the jacuzzi. Uh-huh. There is a glass wall. Uh-huh. And then where are these water shows occurring? Outside. But is there like a, is it a lake? Is it a pool? What are you overlooking where the show is? I didn't copy paste that part. Okay. It has to be. I, but it includes water and lights. Okay. I just, okay. Sounds cool. Yeah. <laughs> 60 minutes in that spa with champagne and a small snack. $100. That's it? Yes. That's not bad. I know. Can you go, like, you can go from, like, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. for $100? That's, like, the perfect night. No, it says deal. 60 minutes. I have that answer. Yeah, yeah so any, any hour. Oh, I thought you meant 11 a.m. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. Any hour. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Cool, right? And you get drinks. Yeah. Probably okay. just one. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dinner at Coco Snot. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not how you say it. I Coco bet it's Snot. Not. Coco Snot, maybe. Maybe it's the emphasis. How do you spell it? K O K O. Uh huh. S N O T. Oh, yeah. Coco Snot. <laughs> Cocos nut. Cocos nut. Cocos. Cocos nut. Cocos not a good name. Cocos nut. I don't know. Um, but it's a high end restaurant in Andorra. <laughs> so I clicked on the menu and you'll have to translate, right? Yeah. So I translate to English and where it used to say what I thought, or I thought it was going to say menu, it just said dishes, only some of them. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Like what? Is it French or Spanish there? No. Why do you ask me these things? I think it's Spanish. Okay. I, I, it's, it's never a test. You know what? It's in between. I'm not trying to test you. Uh, you're just making me curious about things, and I think yeah. you're going to you know be what? the only one in the room that might have the answer. Right. <laughs> it's right in between France and Spain, so I bet there's a mixture. Franish. <laughs> yeah. They speak French and Spanish. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so I'm going to get a bunch of stuff off the menu, only some of them. And they have really cool names like mushroom textures. Mm. Egg at low temperature with cream of tupinambo and bimmy on the grill. Egg at low temperature? Yeah. Ooh. Gin okay. tonic by melon. By melon. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it was a drink. What? It wasn't a drink, though. The gin and tonic? No, gin tonic. It was like this long picture of like something on a plate. A long picture of something on a plate is not a description at Or all. maybe it was melon. Gin tonic by a melon. Like next to a melon? Maybe. A okay. <laughs> Sure. It makes more sense. Does it? <laughs> okay, again, no prices, but went to TripAdvisor. They say it can cost anywhere for a dish, one dish, between 28 and 168 Wait, that's a huge spend. I know. So, of course, I went high end. So, I decided my whole meal, okay, because I was just for one dish, would be like 300 bucks. Sure. Okay. All right. So, then I looked up nightlife. We're getting close. I went to Lonely Planet. 
they have a whole thing about how great Andorra nightlife is. Because really? apparently it really is a great place to go skiing. So okay. it's like a great ski thing. So I did. I found a ski resort called Pas de la Casa. And they have a bar, restaurant bar, that's called Pas 83. And there's a ski shop that's on site. Okay. And I decided that I was going to buy a ski outfit and some skis. Okay. <laughs> and Google said I could drop anywhere between 600 to 1300 to buy your own gear. So I said, okay, $1,000 to buy the gear. Because I just want to go. To my but skis. There's, but there's a reason for this. Okay. Okay. So I'm getting the skis. I'm getting the outfit. I have to have the skis. And the reason I'm doing this is because POS 83 has direct access from the slopes into the restaurant. Wait, wait. Which means it's, it's a ski and ski out. You ski down the slopes. You're like, oh, I want a drink. Hey, guys, move. And you ski into the bar and get... You ski in. Wait. I had to, it's a ski and ski I know. I have bar. so many questions. It's a ski and ski I have so many bar. questions that you're not going to know the answers to. But the bar itself... Yeah. Is it made out of snow? <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to read it directly to you. Okay. POS 83 has direct access from the slopes. It's terrace means you can ski directly into the restaurant. That is so cool. So again, is it made out of snow? I don't understand like the floor situation in the bar because that means it must be snow in the bar. But maybe it's, well, maybe it's like we said before. It's a garage door. It's a garage door. You just ski in and ski out. Yeah, you have to like, or maybe you have like a sun pass. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like it knows when you're coming. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Or those things that we talked about before where you put the skis in, it's like a conveyor belt, and it takes you by the bar. Oh! Like a ski lift chair that's actually a dark ride from the parks. Yeah. And you go by a bar. And then it turns and then into there's a table. And there's the walking, the walking sidewalk, the moving sidewalk, and, yeah. the, and the server can like <laughs> stand on the walking sidewalk. Paddle does not, is not amused. Okay. Okay. But in the... I can't believe that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to buy a drink for 10 bucks. Okay? Okay. $10 drink. I'm done. My total at Andorra is $9,912.67. Well done. <laughs> okay. I'm going to Bogota, Colombia. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Are you ready for this day? Yes. Okay. First of all, we're renting a house. Okay. Um, you said where? Um, me. Oh. No, you're not coming. Uh, yeah. I'm renting a house. It's a four bedroom, four bath. When you walk in, there's an artificial waterfall in front of the front door and a little pond that like in my, if it were my real house, I would have koi in it. <gasps> right? Yeah. But there's no koi in it. But there's like a waterfall and a bridge and then your front door. That's awesome. Oh, I know. And then, oh, it says there are LED lights and sound system throughout the house. So I don't know if you can like <gasps> control color lighting. Yeah, you can. Why else would you do it? I don't know. Yeah, like okay, mood so lighting. You can have mood lighting throughout the house. Heated floors in the bathrooms. Oh, yes. I know we love that terraces and the views are gorgeous. So this house is a little bit outside of Bogota. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that city right, but it's a little bit outside of it. And it's up, this house is up on the hill. So on these terraces, you get an almost 360 view of just green mountains and like other rich houses, I think. It's beautiful. Yeah. So two nights, $4,000. Whoa. I know, crazy, Columbia. I wonder who's spending money in those houses. Don't worry, we'll find out later. Okay, so I'm gonna have breakfast at the Hibiscus Cafe. And I'm going to have a classic and light Colombian breakfast, which I'm not sure sounds great, but um, we're gonna try it. It is agua panela, which is a sweet drink made from unrefined sugarcane juice. 
Okay. It's enjoyed throughout the country. Some regions do it hot, some regions do it cold. But for breakfast, I think it's normally done hot. So, so far, I feel like it's going to be hot and syrupy. Okay. Right? <clears throat> then, a large piece of queso fresco. Soft, fresh, white cheese. Oh, yeah. That yeah, is yeah. a normal breakfast there. Then, in Bogota, the ritual is to drop the cheese into the beverage, which sometimes is hot chocolate. And I can't picture cheese in hot chocolate. I'm willing to try. Um, the cheese effortlessly melts in the hot drink, and using a spoon, oh. the cheesy gooeyness is devoured. It's like a sweet French onion soup. So that is a standard Colombian breakfast. I'd try it. I would try it. Yeah. Five dollars. Oh. I know. Good luck. Yeah, well, here we go. <laughs> okay, so then I was like, what am I going to buy in Colombia? And I found one of the most popular souvenirs is maracas. I'll see the second time I rolled the R. It was better anyway. That's why we cut. And then, and then I also, like, wasn't enthused at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, We're going to keep that on the tape, but here's take three and how it should have gone. <gasps> So then I was like, what should I get as a souvenir in Colombia? And you know what? Mm. Maracas. Really? I know. Huh. <sighs> so there's this guy there named Jorge Aguilar. Yeah. Um, it says he's a grand, he is a maracas player, which, by the way, is a maraquero. Did you know that? Music team? No. Uh, he is a Maracas player for a Grammy-nominated artist. Ooh. Did they say who? It did, but then I think I took it out because I didn't know who it was. <laughs> uh, he does not have a formal store, it says, but you can contact him in advance to place an order. Call plus five seven three one zero three one nine four eight seven three or email jlaguilar09 at hotmail.com. That's on the internet. So I feel <laughs> that now... I can just tell people. I can't wait till someone is like. We could you know call him gonna, right now. We could text him right now. What are you gonna say? Hola, Jorge. Oh, is he only speak Spanish? I don't know. And how then, much for your maracas? Yeah. Do not ever text anyone and just say how much are your maracas. <laughs> Especially so, someone you don't know. Especially. <laughs> so I have this guy's information now, which means that now I have a maracas guy. Yeah, you do. I love that. People yeah. can be like, you know what? I need like maracas. And be like, oh, I have a guy. Yeah. Right? Jorge. Yeah. So he doesn't have any prices online, but I did find some handmade ones online by another person from Bogota, which were 145 Yeah, but so the, did assuming, they work for somebody who won a Grammy? No, well, I made his 200 Okay. So I added... So okay. I figured handmade maracas from Jorge Aguilar at Hotmail.com, uh, $200. Okay, now it's time to rent a car. Yeah. And this time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. It's I'm a getting a bulletproof car. You are? Yeah. The, yeah. You know you why? Because it's where, like, Pablo Escobar lives, right? Yeah. Come on, Allison Birds. I watch Netflix. <laughs> well, also because I feel like one of our last episodes, you got really excited about the prospect of a bulletproof oh, car. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I felt I anywhere. needed to get an armored car. Yes. Okay. No, yeah, that's my dream. So I went through Diplomat Armored Rentals, where you can get armored cars all over the world. No way. Oh. Anybody? Anyone. That doesn't seem right. You just get an armored car. Yeah, because there's lots of places that people might need an armored car. Um... It says, da, 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 ah, on their website, they have their slogan, which is, fear is a choice, but danger is real. <laughs> fear is a choice, but danger is real. That is true. Yeah. So I got a bulletproof armored Kia Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Hummer. No! <laughs> they have all kinds of cars, from like normal cars to not normal cars, depending on how visible you want to be with your armored car. Wait, so it looks like a normal car? 100%. It just happens to be bulletproof. They do have some that are more blatantly, like, rich and armored. Huh. But I, I figured the Kia Carnival van was fine. Yeah. So, with the rental plus the tip for the day, 798 
Oh, that's not bad for an armored car. Oh, it's a Kia. Well, yeah. Do they even make Kias anymore? Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, like a, I have a Kia. You do have a Kia. See, we could armor yours. That would be amazing. Yep. Um, it's time for lunch and we're going to Misia. Misia. Wouldn't want to be Sia. <laughs> 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 okay, so it's a restaurant. I don't know why I didn't write more about this restaurant. I just have that I got soup, entree, a bunch of sides. <laughs> Literally all I wrote, dessert and tip, $32. I think at this point I was like, oh, it's so hard to spend money. Yeah. I just was trying to get the money up. Jeez, so 32 please. bucks for lunch. Okay, at this point, it's time to go to one of the big tourist attractions okay. in Bogota which is the Lake of Guatavita. Okay. This is where El Dorado, the city of El Dorado, El is rumored Dorado. to be underneath Oh no, this. that's Desperado. <laughs> 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 Keep going. Oh, that was great! Um, so it's rumored to be at the bottom of the lake. Um, and this happened because the, one of the local indigenous chiefs, generations and generations and generations ago, would anoint himself with oil. S was in the wrong place. Would anoint himself with oils and gold dust and set sail to the center of the lake on a ceremonial raft, okay? Uh -huh. And then he would throw offerings of jewels and gold into the lake before plunging himself into the water. So then the legend grew up that there was a whole city of gold at the bottom of the lake. Okay. So, in honor of that tradition, I am going to swim in the lake. To find the gold. Oh no, just all in gold. I got a gold bikini from Versace <laughs> for $700. Yes. I got Jimmy Choo glossy gold sunglasses for $420. Oh my God. I got a giant pool float shaped like a goose that's gold <laughs> that I can ride. It's a goose and it is $89. And then I got Tom Ford Soleil Blanc shimmering body oil yeah. in rose gold. And so I was like, oh, what is this body oil? Let me look it up. So I looked it up <clears throat> and I found two reviews on it. So this is really interesting. The first one says, pretty sure this is how Beyonce smells. Love, th love that this is a mist. Love the very fine glitter. To me, this product is all about summer, decadence, and yachts that most of us can only dream of. Off the coast of Cannes. Is this product expensive? Yes. Is it a treat? Yes. Chalk it up to being able to wear a gorgeous, summery, exotic scent and be your own version of rich and decadent. Enjoy the splurge. So first of all, <laughs> yes. <laughs> dog was like, no. Um, I want that person to review us. Yeah, right? This person is like right up 10K alley. Yeah. The second review I found says, this is literally oil and glitter. <laughs> <laughs> True. Still buying it. 100 bucks. Whoa. And then, because, so you have the picture, right? Like, I've got the gold bikini, the gold glasses, <clears throat> the gold skin. I'm picturing it. And I'm on a gold goose. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can do dressed like that and on a gold goose is be in a rap video. <laughs> you and your music videos. But I didn't, I tried looking for a DJ. Um, believe it or not, it was really difficult to try to find a DJ online in Colombia from the United States and really figure that out. So instead I got a boom box. Oh good. But I got a gold boom box. Is it waterproof? Uh, no, but hold on. It's the Deviolette or Deviolette or something like that. Gold Phantom Bluetooth speaker. Oh, so leave before it we on talk the... about how much the speaker okay. is, there's a store of this brand. I've seen this brand once before. There's a store of it in Grand Central Station, and it looks very fancy. Okay, these speakers are fancy. This is what they say on their website, and I don't know what any of this means. Whether you're dealing with transients or steady state signal, the degree of information processed by SAM, which I think is an acronym, is radically superior to anything previously deemed possible. Sound this, and movement. Oh, did you know that off the top of your head? It just makes sense. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Right? <laughs> you said it so confidently, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably what it is. The degree of information processed by Sam. sound and movement. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's radically superior to anything previously deemed possible. This enables Phantom, the speaker, to reproduce the exact rhythm and tempo of your music, all of it, with absolute precision, so that you can experience every last emotion just as the artist intended. That's intense. Have I been listening to music wrong all these years? Like, have I missed some level or layer of music in my speakers and mm -hmm. life? that has not been filtered? Maybe. So in order to experience it in this way, how much would you spend on that speaker? Oof. Okay, I would say, mm, for a speaker, $899. For a Bluetooth speaker. For a Bluetooth speaker Great. that can change the way I- Change the way you listen I to listen music. I listen to music. Okay, I'm gonna go to Team Music over here because we have two musical directors on this side. So, uh, Clay and Jason, how much do you think this Bluetooth speaker would be. I will tell you this, it's more expensive than that. I'm gonna say $1,800. $1,800. I'm gonna go $2,500. Uh, the DeViolette or DeViolette Gold Phantom Bluetooth speaker, which you can buy on Amazon, is $2,990. It is almost $3,000 for a Bluetooth speaker. For a Bluetooth speaker. It's about this big. It's about this big. No. Is it they made have, out of real no, gold? No, no, it just has like gold around the speaker. They have them in Grand Central Station, like you're just supposed to pick one up before you take the Metro North. <laughs> That's insane. I know. Right? What right? music would sound like? I mean, is it like sitting inside the tuba? I know. Right. Okay, so I'm like gonna just like jam out to my rap video mm -hmm. music on my gold goose. Love it. In the middle of the lake where El Dorado is. Yes. Over all the gold. And now it's time to have dinner. And I'm going to a place called Leo. And this is one of those restaurants that I'm not sure I'm gonna like the food, but I'll be very grateful for the journey. Okay. Because Vogue told me that the tasting menu at Leo is a fearless exploration, so far so good, through the mountains, deserts, seas, mangrove forests, and rivers of Colombia. Still okay with that, right? Mm -hmm. Expect a crash course in indigenous Colombian ingredients, including lemongrass scented rainforest ants. I haven't that. <laughs> of course you have. <laughs> Vel uh, smoked rabbit. I would eat that. Yeah. Velvety cake nut milk and tallow leaves garnished with crunchy Andean tuber salt. Okay. Right? I don't know. So my dinner at Leo, the tasting menu, the full tasting menu whip tip, is $228. Nice. Which okay. means my total for my day in Boca de Colombia is $9,562. You beat right. me. So that is what we would do if we had $10,000 in, where'd you go? Andorra. Andorra or Bogota. But where would you give $10,000 away, Allison Burns? I found an amazing charity in Andorra. It's called Charisma. I already love the name. Yep. Um, it is for people in situations of social need. They work with young people, disabled, all ages, and they help um, reduce stress, which I think is awesome. And I think that's in whatever ways they can, whether it be um, with finding housing, with environmental issues. And it says, in general, they reach out to the community, help them learn new skills, and overall, be happy. Ah! Which is like our big slogan. There's tons of ways you can donate to them. They have actual like monetary donations, but they also have thrift stores. Oh, that's cool. So all of their proceeds from their thrift stores go back to this organization. So you can actually drop off old things and they resell it and then it oh. completely funds Charisma. And so it's charismaandora.org. Um, I bet those thrift stores in Andorra are good. Yeah. It's all luxury stores. Yeah. Great. Um, my charity is SOS Children's Villages which I think is actually a US-based charity and they do work all over the world, but they do have a branch in Bogota. It helps keep families together and gets children out of the labor force. 
oh, which nice. in Colombia is a huge issue. Uh, Colombia is one of the countries that is most adopted from. So they, ha they just have a really large orphan population, and a lot of these kids, in order to make ends meet, go into work way too early. So uh, SOS Children's Villages helps keep families together, gets kids out of the labor force. They do assistance for refugees, specifically from Syria at the moment, and you can donate to them. We'll have the link on the blog. Perfect. It's a good? It's a good. It's a good. And if you're in the giving mood, let's talk about our Patreon campaign. Yeah. Allie? So that's what we have, a Patreon campaign. So $10K a day is a passion project for Lulu and I, and we have now been doing it almost a year, a year and a half. A year and a half. A year and a half. Mm -hmm. And so this year is super exciting. We're actually going to be um, visiting some podcast festivals in different parts of the country. And so the Patreon helps us fund those expenses. So we, you can help us um, buy our... Um, admission fees to these festivals. We also um, enter contests to win um, trips to comedy festivals. Mm -hmm. And um, it also helps us with our day-to-day -day expenses, like our website and our hosting fees. Um, because, you know, it's just the two of us, so, and Ashley. So uh, any money that you can spare, $2 a month, it's like less than a Starbucks, um, actually makes a huge difference to us. So you can find us at patreon.com slash 10k dollar day. Yeah, it'd be awesome. You can get in touch with us on any of our social media. We are on Instagram, we are on Facebook, and we have a regular page, we also have a closed page, the F, what are we called? 10k dollar bays, B-A-E-S. Join that, there's some good conversations. We're on Twitter, we're on email, what's our email address? 10k dollar day at gmail.com. That's what it is. You can reach us there. You can also post your happies on Instagram. What is that you say? That is where you tell us what's making you happy today. Like I'm just about to ask Allison. So Allison Burns, what is your happy? Electricity. Okay. <laughs> Explain. I had this moment uh -huh. yesterday uh -huh. where in my bathroom there's two light switches. One is for the fan and one is for the lights. Yes. So I walked in and I accidentally hit the fan not knowing and I was like, is my power out? And I had this moment of like, how am I gonna go on with my day, right? Yeah. And then I hit the other switch and realized I just hit the wrong switch. I had lights, <laughs> right? Yeah. But it was in that moment that I was like, I'm so thankful that I have electricity. Yeah, absolutely. Like it really, really helps. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Um, What's yours? Well, my happy is going to get a little lost in the time-space continuum. But I have to say that I'm super happy about this house party situation we yeah. have going on now. We've been talking about doing it for a while, and we have told people, you know, if you want, if you want, we'll come in, we'll do a house party, we can raise some money for a charity, we can do whatever you want. Um, and it is fun to have everybody here. Although it is weird, because normally, not lying, what we do is we record, like, hours of foolishness, and then we have to cut around it. And now I feel a little bit of pressure, but it also made us just do our job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Oh, so that's good. Um, so super happy to have in the house right now, who you don't see is Jacob Kaltzer, whose name you're going to hear in a little bit. Again, we have Jason Wetzel, who was uh, our guest. Go oh, he gets applause. Uh, he, he was our guest Googler in our Live from New York episode. Clay Price is here, one of my good friends. Chris Jackson is here, who was on a recent 10K Saturday. Dinty Herrera, who was also a guest Googler, because we keep them close, you guys. And uh, Ted... <laughs> Bill Murray was very upset that he had yeah. gotten out. Sorry, Bill. Bill and Bill. He, and Bill, Bill was Murray, here. I'm so sorry. sorry. He had to go. He was. Um, sorry, Bill. Um, this is an audio book <laughs> that just started playing. How is that legal? Oh, who knows? Audio out. So audio we're just, out. We're gonna end with Animal Farm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. 10K Dollar Day is produced by Ash Burns. Music is by Stan Collins. Graphic art is by Jacob McAllister. <laughs> Our 10K Saturday voiceover is by Charlie Hume. Thanks to Buzzsprout for being a really, really wonderful hosting site. And I'm going to take a cue from the TV. Not audio out, but Lulu out. With, With friends, friends like us. Who needs humanity? <laughs>